Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a lecturer's management system using PHP Code Igniter, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video I completed the functionality of displaying this followers and following count on the user's profile card. And in this video I will discuss about displaying the image of the logged in user and the username of that logged in user on this header uh, the moment when user gets logged in okay so before starting this video i would just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will get regular updates of my upcoming videos and now let us start discussing on developing the functionality of displaying this uh, uh, profile image and username okay uh, so for doing that first we need to go to our header file okay so i am on my header file here and uh, you guys have already seen how we have done all these things uh, regarding this header so in header what we have we have a logo okay and this search bar and these menu items along with this drop down with set of menu items okay so now this navigation menu i have divided into three section where this logo i have kept inside one section column okay and uh, from here from this search bar till here okay so uh, this search bar i have kept inside uh, six column view okay let me just show you that here you can see uh, the search bar this six column view i have created for displaying this search bar okay and in the remaining five column i have created these menu items and this drop down okay so this is how i have created this navigation menu now let me just show you that okay inside navigation we have a container and inside container i have created a one column view where i have displayed this logo image okay and then i have created a six column view as i have said in this uh, uh, six column i have created my search bar okay so this six column gets closed here and then i have created a five column view uh, to display these menu items and this drop down okay uh, so now this fifth column has started here okay as you can see here i have displayed all the menu items home login okay and then register links and here you can see i have kept a condition immediately after i complete this ul it starts from here sign up ul okay so here i have taken the level from the session and user id of the logged in user from the session okay so both of this level and user id i am taking from the session of logged in user okay and here with this if condition i am checking if the user who is getting logged in is the admin and if that user is logged in that means if when the user gets logged in their user id variable will get set inside the session that means if the user has successfully logged in and if that user is the admin then i'm displaying only these many items drop down items add profile change password log out okay so i'm not displaying these records okay now let me just show you that log out and now i will log in as an admin okay and then now you can see i have logged in as an admin and i don't have any menu items here on this header okay so now let me just log out michael so when an admin gets logged in 
that admin will get only these many options which is add profile change password logout okay so now next is when a normal user gets logged in okay so this this is what i'm doing here okay so level equals to equals to two so this two represents the normal user okay when the normal user is logged in that means their user id will get set inside the session and if that user who is logged in is the normal user then again i'm using this sign up ul okay and then i'm displaying this dashboard home and my posts link and with these links i'm redirecting to user home and my posts function in the user controller okay so now here this ul gets closed and immediately after that i have created this section okay just this due as and here you can see i am taking the profile image of the logged in user from the session and here with this if condition i am checking if that user has uploaded their profile image in their profile by going to this add profile okay so if that user has uploaded their profile picture from here then i will take that profile picture from the database and i will display that image here okay if the user has not uploaded their profile picture yet then what i will be doing is i will display the default image okay uh, and uh, here this else get, if gets closed okay and apart from displaying the profile image i am also displaying the username so for displaying that username i am getting the username from the session as well okay and uh, that username will be of two words but i want only to display one word here okay the name is here you can see michael brown but i want to display only michael so what i have done is i have exploded that string and i have taken only the first uh, index of that string and i have displayed that as well okay uh, so this is how i have managed to display the profile image and username on the header okay so now apart from doing these things you also need to go to your login dot hp controller okay i hope you guys have rem remembered that we had done this login dot ph login controller when we were developing the functionality of registration and login okay so at that time we had passed only these four details inside the session now i want to get user file which is the profile picture designation and department and logged in details also uh, in my dashboard when user gets logged in so that's why what i have done is these many details will be taken care by this function which is check personal info and to this function i am passing the user id of the logged in user okay so this user exist will hold that user id of the logged in user with that user id i am passing that inside this check personal info and i have created this check personal info function inside my user model so with this i am getting the user id username and uh, uh, here you can see i am also getting the user file and designation department all these details i am getting from this check personal info function and this information i am passing in my session okay and here user model i have told you regarding this and yes regarding this also i have told you and uh, all these things i am receiving here the moment when i logged in i will get all those details and i will i am displaying those user image and username here on the on the header of the dashboard okay so this is everything about uh, displaying the profile image and username of the logged in user on the header okay uh, so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys have understood whatever we have discussed in this video
okay and uh, thanks for watching i will see you guys in my next video where i will start discussing on developing the features of admin okay so all those things we will be going to cover in our next video okay thanks for watching